Can you tell us a little bit about what are the options? One is to, to try and pass the sediment through the reservoir or uh, alongside it. Okay. So uh, a way to, there are two ways you can do it, pass it through the reservoir. The one is that you can you do what is called sluicing. Okay. So what, what you, when you implement that is when a, when a flood season starts. The flood comes in and you lower the, the water surface elevation in the reservoir so you can keep the, um, the flow velocities high. Mm -hmm. And you try and pass as much sediment through that as possible. Okay, that, that's one way. Another way is in certain cases, like I said in, in the case of Rogan, the, the, the character of the sediment is such that density currents form. So a density current, you know, if you have a lot of very fine material, silt and clay, uh, it, and, and, and the river transports a lot of that, that water, because of the, uh, of the silt and clay that it contains, is, is denser than the water in the reservoir, which is clear. So if this river flows into the reservoir, the, because it's denser, it goes along the bottom of the reservoir and it forms uh, what is called a density current. And those density currents travel very far. I mean, it, they sometimes, uh, you know, like in the case of Xialong Di, it's 100 kilometers oh, wow. that it travels. So you have this density current containing the sediment, and then if you have a low-level outlet at the dam, you try to get that current to go through the dam. And that, that brings us then to the, the other techniques, the bypass technique, okay. because that is, you know, like in, there's a lot of uh, reservoirs in Switzerland in the mountainous areas and also in Japan. What they do is they build a tunnel. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, the, when the high flows come in with sediment, they divert those flows into the tunnel and pass it around the reservoir and, and discharge it downstream of the dam. And, and, so, and that's, they're very successful at actually uh, uh, minimizing uh, sedimentation that way. So then we have this other class of techniques where um, you, we didn't manage to pass the sediment during the event. The sediment mm. deposits and kind of we have to come in after, afterwards, yeah. um, move the sediment out. And what, yeah. are some of the, what are some of the options there? Okay. Well, that is the, the uh, I think, the, the most well-known option uh, as far as hydraulic removal yeah. is concerned is flushing. Yes. Okay. So the difference between flushing and sluicing is in flushing, you implement during the dry season. Sluicing, you implement the beginning of the flood season, you lower reservoir elevation and it, it, it flows through. But flushing in the dry season, you lower, you essentially empty the reservoir. Yeah. And what you aim to do is to create river-like conditions in the reservoir so that you can erode that sediment mm -hmm. out and pass it downstream. Okay. That, that's really the, the difference, you know. And, and an example of that, you know, that is, uh, I think, sort of a, a uh, well-known example is Kabidem Dam in Switzerland. Okay. Uh, they, they flush that on an annual basis. Right. You know, so, and that, that's clean. You know, I've been there. It, it's really a very successful operation. You know. So, um, and then, you know, other techniques, obviously dredging is what everybody knows. And, um, uh, you know, so that is something that you can do on a regular basis. And, and Cogswell Dam, for example, another technique is to empty the reservoir, a flood control reservoir, for example, and you send a clump, a lot of earth moving equipment in there and you dig it out and you put it in a landfill somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah. it's, uh, that is a, a, another way to, and then there are another technique, dredging technique, like this hydro suction. That's right. Uh, there's an engineer in Norway that does a lot of that. His whole company is based on that. And he yeah. seems to be pretty successful at that. And what the idea there is, that you essentially use the siphon uh, power over a reservoir to to use instead of a pump. So you That's just right. create the suction and you, you move the sediment out.